Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make your watermelon weaving. First, you're gonna get a red piece of paper and you're gonna fold that in half. There's an open side and a closed side. Next, you're gonna take a pencil. I'm using a Sharpie, but you're gonna use a pencil and you're gonna draw a straight horizontal line all the way across the top of that paper towards the open side. You're gonna write your name in that space Then we're gonna make what's called tick marks. So your first tick mark is gonna be in the middle of your line, right under your name. Between my first tick mark and the edge of my paper, I'm gonna make another one in between those two sides. Another one in the middle here. And then between my first tick mark and my second one, I'm gonna make another one. And then between that tick mark and the edge of my paper, I am going to make another tick mark in the middle. So I should have seven total. At each check mark, I'm gonna draw a straight line that goes all the way to the edge of my paper. It's okay if these lines aren't perfectly straight, just do the best that you can. Next, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut each one of those lines and I'm gonna stop at that first horizontal line that we made. Again, I'm gonna cut each one of these lines and I'm gonna stop at the horizontal line. And I'm gonna do that until I reach the edge of my paper. This is what your, this is what your loom should look like when it's all finished. I'm able to spread these out. We're gonna open it up to the side that doesn't have any markings and you can see that there's some room at the top that isn't cut and that's how we are going to make our weaving. You're gonna get these pink strips of paper and we are going to use the under over technique. I'm gonna turn my paper this way just so it's easier. So first I'm gonna start by having my paper go over this first loom. Then I'm gonna lift this up and make it go under over, under, over, under, over, under. Once I've got it, I'm gonna push it up a little bit and then push up the paper so it goes all the way to the top. Now that I've started with an over, my next one needs to be and under. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. When you're done with the second one, you also need to push it up as well and make that loom really nice and tight. Now I'm, now I'm gonna start my third one. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over. Oh, wait a second, that doesn't look quite right. So I was supposed to start with an over. So if you make a mistake like that, all you really need to do is pull out your paper and start again. So I need to go over this time, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And then again, push up your paper. This is really important. You need to push up the strips so they are nice and tight. Once again, I started with an over. So now I'm gonna go under again. Under, over, under, over under over under over push that up again now i'm gonna finish my entire weaving till this whole loom is filled up here's what my weaving looks like when it's all finished 
Next, I'm gonna take a glue stick, you could also use a glue bottle, to tape, or not tape, glue down those edges that are sticking out just so my weaving is nice and secure. And you're gonna wanna make sure to do that on both sides of the paper. Next, you're gonna get a green piece of paper and this is gonna be sort of the husk of our watermelon. So starting at one corner, I'm gonna make a curvy line and it is gonna be so big that we can't even fit it on the paper. So again, you're gonna go right to the edge with that curvy line and then about an inch away from the first line, you're going to make a big U. And we want this to be nice and thick because we're gonna cut it out. Next, I'm gonna take a glue bottle and add some glue to my green U. I'm gonna flip it over very carefully and I'm gonna do my best to match up the corners of my U to the corners of my weaving. It's okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna cut so we're gonna cut some more anyway. And then I'm pressing it down to make sure it's nice and secure. And then any paper that's outside of my green U, I'm gonna cut. Again, just do the best that you can with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. The very last step is to take a black marker and add some watermelon seeds. All I'm really doing is making some ovals or teardrop shapes. And this is what mine looks like when it's finished. I hope you have lots of fun today.